All right, hello and welcome everyone to a lovely Saturday, uh, not Saturday, Sunday morning for me at least. I don't know what time it is for you that may be watching. And we're about to watch a World Cup group stage games between Australia and Wales. And representing Wales, we have Amabani on Crane with Kudin Kakita, Seeker of Void, and interestingly enough... Uh, Unicorn Splash, so Spyglasses, Wayfinders, a lot of dual stuff. Should be cool to see. Uh, but on Australia side, we have Dragon. And this is Dragon with Lion Splash. And this is a man after my own taste, runs Sashimono. And as people may have noticed, if we look at Amabunny's list, there is a very real lack of uh, attachment control, except three lone Mia Mystics. Which might prove very annoying when you have stuff like, uh, I guess, Mitsu or Jukuni running around with Sashimonos and just wrecking havoc on you. Let me have a quick look at, so what is, he doesn't run Void Fist, what is the Restricted List card? Also interesting to note is that he runs uh, Kazue's, uh, Sashimono plus Kazue and no uh, Mystics found from Am Amabunny is probably just straight up win. Right, so let's see, I can't spot a Restricted List card. Am I blind? He runs court game censures, one fallen in battle. Ah! The restricted list card is Neaton Master. That makes perfect sense. So Neaton Master, he runs a bunch of... Oh, that's really cool. And one time for war, so he can ready the Neaton Master one more time. Oh, this should be a really cool list. This is sort of like... A... Aggro-ish. It's, 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 it's very interesting dragon build because it has both the potential for quick and dirty aggro if he finds a needed master and a bunch of swords early. And just having big dudes with Sashimono grinding out a long game. I think Amabuni is going to have a hard time unless he finds his uh, Mia Mystics at opportune moment. And even if he finds the Mia Mystic in an opportune moment, uh, the Dragon Play can just cloud them. Really. Uh, if, for instance, if I were Emma Bunny in this situation, if I ever saw Mystic, I'd probably buy it with like one or even maybe two fate. I know that's a... if I can afford it. Because it sounds like a huge waste of fate, but basically having a Sashimono stick on an Honor Jukuni is just death. It's just absolute death to deal with so you can't really have that happen especially if that owner Jukuni also has a Kasue on him that's just the double death that's that's complete utter awfulness so currently we have um, the dragon player in the game we're just waiting for the Welsh crane player to join in. Should end up with an interesting game. Maybe Amabuni has uh, fallen asleep. We don't know.
So we're actually about 15 minutes past the supposed start date. So uh, clearly uh, Amabunny has gotten held up by something. We'll just have to wait and see if he responds so we can get into the game. If any of the Welsh players are watching, maybe you can have a go and see if, where Amabunny has ended up. I'm just gonna have a quick look at Discord and see if he's around. Yep, uh, just waiting for Amabunny right now. Uh, for people that just joined, this is uh, going to be a very interesting game. Uh, I'm gonna have a show you the deck list one more time. Uh, so we have Amabunny on Crane Splash, Kyun and Kakita, with a bunch of dual stuff, Julie's training, Kakita Blades, Spy Glasses, so Unicorn Splash and Wayfinders. And runs, of course, you know, Gossip, Voice of Honor, Wear the Crane, One Spear Rushes Forth, which is a pretty cool finisher in my opinion. Time has gone by, it's basically just good stuff Crane, I guess. Uh, I, I really like Takamori. I mean, I hate playing against Takamori, but I really like it as a concept for a card. And of course, he runs Toshimoko, Uji. Hmm. He's actually really low on uh, expensive guys. Five coster. He only runs Uji as a five coster. Uh, I'd usually see at least a couple of Joshi, Kakita Yoshi. It's just uh, when you have the favor, just draw a bunch of cards. But I guess he doesn't really need that with Spyglasses. Uh, nothing really strange province-wise, entrenched under the stronghold, I guess it's fine. It seems, it seems pretty cool, but the dragon list, once again, is on Lion Splash and runs Sashimono and Kazue. And if you look at the crane list, you see only three Mia Mystics as the uh, attachment control. So if the dragon draws well enough, this could just get completely out of hand really fast with something like a Hitomi or a Mitsu or a Yukuni just honored up, attached up with all kinds of stuff and then just goes absolutely ham, never bows and never dies because of Kasue and it's just going to be a bundle of awfulness. The restricted list card for the dragon player is Nitin Master so there's potential for early game Hyper aggression, if necessary. Just find a bunch of uh, katanas and daishos and fire away, I guess. All right, and we do have word here, he'll be here in five minutes. So, in five minutes, we're going to see the game start.
Right. So the question is, in this game, it's basically going to be who can get the biggest possible guy in play and then just dominate. Which should make for a very interesting game. Basically, if the crane player can tower hard enough, he's going to have duelist training to just deal with every dragon tower. And on the other hand, if he can't, the dragon towers are just going to run over him. It's, it's, it's going to be interesting, to say the least. Ah, that's a that's a that's a solid bet. The other the other guy is on his way though. We have confirmation that uh, I'm a bunny is is on his way. It's not a very exciting screen to watch this, is it? While while it's while we wait for the players, but what 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 can you do? So So let's see. It's Australia versus Wales. So for Amabunny, who we're missing, is basically morning ish. Morning ish, day ish. And for the Australian player, it should be evening. Early evening. Something like that. I was just wondering to see if anyone has sort of like a state of tiredness advantage at this point which I don't really think there will be I don't know I I don't know if he's been on um, he didn't see the roller derby I imagine he probably knows the guys that does he didn't see the roller derby but I don't know if he's actually been on Ah, I think this is our bunny. Cool. Always preferable to be alive, I find, when you're about to play a game of cards. Alright, and here we go, we're getting into the game. Everything seems to be set up fine, chess clocks are on, there's nothing wonky going on here. So, let's see how will the players mulligan. This could give us an idea of how well they've drawn from the beginning. Alright, so two is mulliganed from the dragon player's side and three is mulliganed from the crane player's side. Um, I don't think you really want to start towering the first round. I think you want to find something uh, something small. And... Or you just go, I guess, neat and master and try to break to round one. That could work as well. But if your first player... Alright, so here's, here's, the, here's the really interesting thing. Since Takamori is showing here, if the crane player just buys the Whisperer first, and the dragon player buys neat and master, he can just buy Takamori and disable neat and... Oh! 
but he buys the Doji Challenger, so that means there's no Takemori blocking out the Nathan Master. Are we just going to see the Doom Trigenia here from the Dragon Player, or are we actually going to see uh, Nathan Master get played with uh, with Fate here? And there's no not going to be any Master get played, so we're just going to see the Doom Shigenya stalwartly hanging on against this challenger. And 5-5 five to five bids, nothing strange here. I imagine next turn we're probably not even going to see Nathan Master get played, we're probably just going to see Yukuni get played and start to tower. Oh, and our bunny does find a Spyglass round 1. Uh, I I don't expect one of them to honor out in this game at all, no. I don't think the crane build, while having a lot of duels, is built to gain honor. It's more built around bullying the opponent. Uh, but yes, that game was... That game was crazy. The, of course... Uh, let's see... Seisuke Seikin is uh, referring to a previous game between uh, Brazil and Italy where it was a lion mirror that was bonkers. Alright, uh, so we do see a political conflict at Pilgrimage. Spyglasses gets to draw a card. Doom Shigenia defends. And uh, the dragon player gets uh, one fate because flipping Pilgrimage and Seeker Void. And the first action is to dishonor the challenger by court games. So currently the dragon player is winning this conflict. And uh, Amabuni just draws a card from Imperial Storehouse. He needs to buff himself quite a lot in order to uh, break pilgrimage here. I guess you could probably do something like... Uh, yeah, court games, then... Maybe even a way of the crane and then attach a duelist training and just bow out the Doom Chigenia. You are letting the uh, crane player have favor. That's less than ideal, but at least he doesn't run Kakita Yoshi, so it's not going to be a huge deal. I mean, yeah, that's... It is what it is sometimes. Usually, like, the in L5R, it's a whole lot of uh, passing or nothing really happening the first couple of rounds. So you see here, like, Doge Challenger attacking and, you know, court games discards court games and then pass, no ring effect happens and then suddenly you have this turn and you go like, bam, 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 you break two two or three provinces depending on which clan you are and, and you know it's he can get very crazy very quickly especially when when you do when you have a uh, dishonor or honor victory on the table and here we see he pokes a uh, military with uh, water just to ready up the challenger so that there's no uh, conflict character drop that can just snipe the favor or go for a poke on one of the provinces here. I think the dragon player is really scared about finding um, Magister Station because Magister Station is uh, just a province that if 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 you ever find Magister Station, you you really want to make sure that you can just break it that turn. Otherwise, the crane is just going to slowly but carefully value you out of the game. Alright, so one Nitten Master gets discarded from the Promises, uh, but Yukuni gets kept. I'm imagining we're gonna see Yukuni gets just bought here. Yukuni 4 Fate? No, Yukuni 3 Fate. Ah, I wasn't too far off. And uh, from the Crane player... I guess we could see Ryoka 
because he already has Imperial Favor. That seems good, honor Ryoka or the Challenger for free. And maybe even the Whisperer as well. I wouldn't be too awful. The problem here is, if uh, Monkeys and Pirates has found some of the big attachments, he can just start to go ham. And he passes, so I'm guessing he probably has a Sashimono in hand. He's just gonna drop that on Yukuni, feel perfectly safe, and do a military conflict. Probably copy the Challenger's ability. And uh, then start to do awful stuff to the crane player. Yeah, if he bought Ritsugu first action, uh, the, the crane player would just have bought uh, Takamori. So you buy Yukuni and then maybe you buy Ritsugu depending on what the crane player buys. Uh, but we just saw Yukuni now, so... Uh, and we see one expensive, uh, not expensive, but one one attachment on Yukuni. I will be extremely surprised after double five bids that we don't start seeing... Oh, actually, it was uh, only a four bid from uh, Monkeys and Pirates. So we're probably going to see a Sashimono get dropped here. Maybe even a Sashimono and a Kazue. Uh, especially if you can um, Yukuni in... Uh, Copy the challenger, pull the challenger in, steal the last fate of the challenger, and then drop uh, Sashimono and still stand after the conflict. Uh, and then you just uh, then you start uh, and you start to do awful stuff to the opponent. It basically turns off the military attacks for Crane for the rest of the game. All right, so we do see a void ring here, so. It indicates to me that he doesn't actually have Kazue. Oh, oh, fire. Oh yeah, it makes sense. Owner of Yukuni. And that's probably one of the worst provinces he could have found unless he had the foresight, of course, to attach a Finger of Jade, which he had. So this Finger of Jade will not be too shabby. Uh, so above question gets dropped onto Yukuni so that he cannot use his own events to buff him in any sort of way. This will not prevent Yukuni from just having a million attachments on him though. So that's fine. Uh, this is a military, so there's going to be no hurricane punching here, assuming he found a, uh, a seal to put on him. Hey now, Sashimono is a legit card. As, as much hate as two cost attachments go, if you ever have Sashimono actually stick on a character, it is just... A nightmare to deal with. It is an absolute nightmare to deal with. Alright, so we do see the first let go used and it's used to discard a spyglass. I think that's a sensible use of let go. Uh, also worth noting here is that the crane player did not voice this, even though voice is currently online. So this gives a pretty clear indication that, I mean, what else are you going to voice here, right? You voice the let go so you can keep your spy glasses so you can have card advantage. That's that's pretty much all you voice from the dragon player. Uh, maybe save one voice for falling in battle because he does run one falling in battle. This this dragon player is basically playing uh, lion but with uh, green characters, I guess. <laughs> so. Shameful display still hasn't triggered, unless uh, 
I'm a bunny can force the finger of Jade to get popped in any sort of way. He's not going to trigger shameful display because uh, that's just going to get cancelled by finger of Jade. We do see Yukuni pull in uh, Ryoku. Uh, I have a feeling that we might see... Hang on. Does the crane player have any cheap conflict character? He should run Harriers, right? Ah, Wayfinders, and we've seen one Wayfinder already, and we could see a uh, Fumiki to do another conflict. Alright, so... A Kakita Blade gets dropped. So, uh, currently Defender is winning. Uh, of course, the Dragon player could at any point just use the Stronghold to go up two more. I am just, I'm just, I'm just waiting for the moment, the beautiful moment where Sashimono gets put on Yukuni and sort of like the, the sinking feeling in the crane player's stomach just keeps growing into a sort of like a bundle of awfulness. Um, I'm guessing the only reason, I, I, I really don't see any reason to not drop Sashimono here if you if you have it in hand. So I'm guessing he actually hasn't found it. There is, there is no... There is no point not dropping Sashimono in this situation. The crane player is not going to have enough money next turn to buy Takamori and something big enough to block out Yukuni from doing double conflicts anyway. Alright, so we do have a duel. Challenger versus Yukuni. Just to honor the challenger from Kunin Kakita. Alright, that's fair enough. But, uh... Alright, so it's only if the duelist win if the duel's winner is a duelist bow the duelist lose. So he's basically gonna gonna blank himself in order to honor himself. Which is fine. I still think you if if you can I still think if you can you just uh Just put more stuff onto Yukuni here. Yeah, that should be fine. Yeah, another fine katana. Still winning. This uh, if this Yukuni gets honored, he's going to be a military powerhouse. If he's honored, he's going to be twelve military. If he finds a Sashimono, he's going to be a twelve military in every single military conflict. I wonder if he's afraid of something like uh, for shame combos from the crane player. There it is! Oh, it has landed! Sashimono is on Yukuni! Are we going to see a bunch of for shames now from the crane player? This is fine.jpg. Yep. Uh, also worth noting is that the only thing the crane player could have right now to do another conflict this turn is uh, a wayfinder, and uh, he runs three, and he has already seen one, so he he is starting to to get into trouble. And this Yukuni is going to be honored, so he's going to be very large. Very large honored Yukuni. Are we going to actually see a uh, conflict here from the crane player though? Ah, no conflict character from Amabuni. So uh, I guess we're just gonna see a void conflict here from the. Uh, yeah, why not? Break Shameful, get rid of Takamori. That's fine. Kill off the challenger. Seems good. Yep, 
No defense. Takamori gone. Yeah, perfectly fine. Seems reasonable. Uh, favor should go to the dragon player as well. Rubbing salt in the wound next turn would be to find a Sumiko. Just pitch Neat and Master. You, you already wasted two blades. Just pitch him. Get rid of him. You have you have the win con on the table. Uh, just get rid of Neat and Master. Keep right Sugu. Get rid of the favorable ground. Uh, no, actually keep the favorable ground if he finds another challenger. Um, but you should definitely pitch Neat and Master. Uh, you, you should probably think about if you want to keep right Sugo or not. Uh, and then if you can find a, a Sumiko, there's basically just nothing... Oh, he kept the Master? That's odd to me. Why would you even keep the Neat and Master here? What are you going to do with him? Uh, Trouble just played with one fate. I guess that's okay. Retsugu gets played with three fate. I wonder if the crane player is actually gonna bid. Oh, alright, so there's some dishonor pressure attempt here going on. Uh, with the spy glasses used, he has gained quite a sizable uh, card advantage, so currently it is 14 to 7. If he can end up in a situation where Toshimoku is actually threatening to blank out... Oh, and there comes the Cloud the Mind. So, Toshimoku is a nobody. I mean, at some point, right? At some point, stats win games. Sure, abilities definitely also win games, but at some point you just have to have the stats. So the dragon player is a pretty decent position right now. Uh, and above question gets attacked, attached to Raisugu. Uh, but we do see a fine katana go down. We're probably going to see another weapon go down. If you play another weapon on Raisuga, you 100% just get rid of the Neat and Master for next turn. Just get, get rid of it. You don't need it. And uh, we see a scared crane here, not wanting to do a conflict. So, are we going to see the dragon just march in military? I would march in military. Military Earth? Military Earth seems reasonable. Military Air, just for the extra two fate. But Military Earth seems 100% reasonable. Is there any promise here you're even afraid of? I guess Magistrate Station. But I think you break Magistrate Station if you find it. Oh, Air, he just, he just wants the money. I would probably have gone Earth. Okay, so he does find Pilgrimage, we, we, he does get uh, Seeker Fate to the Kring player. Pilgrimage is a very decent attack here. Alright, so he just breaks Pilgrimage for free. Uh, I think Amabuni has uh, tilted a bit. The way he's, he, he's, he's emoting or I guess chatting in the chat here seems to just suggest to me that he has sort of like slightly given up on... You know, life and hope in general. Do you do you attack here as the crane? What do you attack with? A void ring? An earth ring? A fire ring to turn off troll? Yeah, yeah. oh wow. Hmm. I mean you can definitely honor Toshimoku for free by using the dojo. So you should definitely do that at some point. But uh, can you, can you hold on? 
Oh, and Amabody passes his second conflict opportunity. This is just carte blanche to the dragon to go, all right, I'm gonna move in everything. And the way of the crane gets used already to honor Toshimoko. That's odd to me. Is he trying to snipe to like a favor snipe or something? All right, so let's see here. What do you do here as a dragon player? You, you probably go void, right? You don't care about the extra fate on... Okay, so you can bow something now with Toshimoku and Duelist training. I think the uh, I think the way of the crane is to turn on Voice of Honor. I think Voice of Honor is is definitely in Amabuni's hand right now. I don't think you can bow Yukuni. I think Yukuni is just too big of a monster to bow with Duelist training. But you could bow out the right Sugu. You could bow out the troll maybe. I definitely think you could probably go, either you go Earth here to just further card advantage, or you go uh, Void, just to get rid of Ryoko from the board. I think that's fine. And you probably want to actually get rid of the Kakita Dojo. Oh, uh, you want to have Voice Online to stop the potential let go on the Duelist training. Because Duelist training is all that can save you right now. So it's just to stop let go. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Not not only with Yukuni. You go with everything. He has no conflicts left. You go with everything. Just put in Troll. Who cares? Put in Raizugu. Who cares? No, you definitely, you definitely bring Raitsugu. You de oh, come on, man. You definitely bring Raitsugu. Okay, so Toshimoku bows Raitsugu. Who cares? You get to duel off Ryuko and then use the Void Ring to take off from... Oh, and he actually dodges. He dodges! The Magistrate Station. The only thing I think that could have, have had him... So, so I, Defender is actually up right now. Defender is actually up, so he could have defended successfully, I might add, a Magistrate Station here. But uh, since this is a Manicured Gardens, I think he's just... Toast. Okay, he has favorable ground. Okay, so he can move in one of these dudes to just try and snap it in half. Break the province. Does the crane player have anything? For just a smattering of four chains, maybe. Anything you bring in is going to get bowed by the duelist training on Toshimoko. So... You either had to bring both or none. You could use Raizuga to duel off Ryoku. Which is not a bad play. It's a pretty good play, to be honest. Just keep the crane's board small. Uh, currently, Dragon is winning, but not breaking. I think you just take the win. If you find Sumiku next turn, you just start to do some real pressure. Uh, the above question on Yukuni is the crane player's above question. So, for shame does work. Above question only stops the dragon player from playing his own events on Yukuni.
Is that a way of the dragon? Oh my, I didn't actually see that in the list. That's a way of the dragon. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. So. Oh my, I missed that. So, Yokuni Copper Dress Retsugo. Duels Ryoku. Then he attaches Way of the Dragon. And then duels Ryoku again, killing him, and now he's breaking Manicured Gardens. Wow. Uh. I guess you're breaking Manicured. Oh, Fumiku? So currently he is uh, not breaking, but now Voice of Honor is not online, so if he has let go for Julius training, he can let go the Julius training, just move in the Volcanic Troll and still break. Does he have the let go? Does he have the let go? Honestly, he's just one off. He could just put a seal on on Yukuni. Yeah, he could just put a seal on Yukuni. That's enough. I mean, if you're gonna tower Yukuni, you might as well just tower Yukuni. I still think, uh, of course, this number of attachments is super fair and balanced, by the way. Oh, is he a court games to dishonor opposing character? I think this might be a mistake. He should probably held that to honor himself. Eh, we'll see. Fumika gets dishonored. And instantly Dojo gets used. So, Doji is just gonna rehonor Fumiki. That, yep, it's just pretty much a mistake right there. He should have probably just attached a seal if he had one. Now, Finger of Jade is gone. Ooh. Alright, Way of the Crane gets dropped instead on Fumiki. Alright, alright, right. so, a lot of stuff just happened. Uh, this suggests to me that there's no for- actually, does even the crane play run for shame? I need to check. Oh boy. Thank you for the follow. Uh, let's see, does he run for shame? He doesn't even run for shame. Spear rushes forth. Only during military conflict. Okay. So. Now, favorable ground gets sacrificed. Raisuga gets moved in. Even if Raisuga gets bowed by Toshimoko, Raisuga is gonna duel out the Fumiki. Fumiki, yep. Alright, so. Gossip gets played. Alright, so no copies of Redis for Battle, but this doesn't matter because Raitsugu just kills Fumiki. So you bow Raitsugu, but you kill Fumiki. Anyway. I don't... Th <laughs> you don't care, you just kill Fumiki with Raisugo. And if he gets bowed by Toshimoko, he gets bowed. Yeah.
I mean, you could say that you're ha still half asleep all you want, but to be honest, it's like 11 in the morning in England right now, so... It's not really an excuse. And Toshimoku ends up bowing Raitsugu, but Manicured Garden is breaking, and with zero money left, there's nothing he can do about it. And Spear Rush's fourth cannot be used because this is a political conflict, so Manicured Gardens will get broken, Kakita Dojo will get discarded, and Toshimoku will get one fate removed from him. And that's going to be the round. Yeah, uh, this dragon deck, if it goes up against Crab that finds Karada first turn, I think you just die. I think you're just dead. There's, there's just nothing you can do about it. If a Kisada steals a Sashimono, that's just, that's just it. He keeps the Neaton Master? Why would you keep the Neaton Master? You've already wasted 3 out of 6 weapons. You just get rid of Neaton Master, you try to find Sumiko, you have the favor. Sumiko is superior to Neaton Master in this situation. I am in severe disagreement with the uh, Dragon player right now. Alright, I guess this is going to be a... Oh, that's actually a pretty nice flip. Any Matted Magistrate against uh, Toshimoko that provides zero skill, full-on military attack on Stronghold. And... Uh, Mia Mystic doesn't even get bought. That's a sign that it's just full-on tilt for the Crane player. I mean, I, I, I do know that he's pretty much won already, but, you know, it's... If there ever was a way for the Crane to come back, it's because he kept the Neaton Master the whole game in one of his provinces that he never bought because he couldn't actually use it. Just pitch it and find something useful. Both players bid 5, so it's going to be, I imagine, just a, oh, Tattooed Wanderer. Uh, I guess he's going to do that on Kaisin. Full on mill conflict on a stronghold with an Earth Ring, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Ama Bunny is uh, definitely on full tilt. Not full tilt, but like, he he is not in a happy place right now. He is not in a happy place. And this card right here, ladies and gentlemen, this card right here, is why so many people think it's absolutely necessary to pack attachment hate into your deck. And there's a spectator pitching in here, saying stuff about... Uh... 
<laughs> yeah, I I think the Welsh team has just uh, realized that this is a uh, this is merely a formality at this point. Funny thing about uh, Blood of Onotan, whatever Onotangu, on Ono, whatever. Uh, Lion actually played this province under stronghold for a bit in his Moritoride decks. Uh, I'm not saying it was necessarily correct, but it was a thing for a while, and it kind of worked. Huh. <laughs> All right. This is uh that's <laughs> I'm a bunny plays gossip and names cavalry reserves. So that's that's as close as to a uh, concession as you can get, I think. I think we're just super close to a yeah, full on military conflict stronghold Alright, so we go in with 29 military skill on the stronghold. And the Toshimoku defense. And uh, yeah, this is just going to be. Uh, um, a one to one bid, I guess. Magistrate is going to get bowed. Still going to blank out the skill from Toshimoko. I don't think the crane player can reach enough skill to to drop the, the 29 to a non-breaking point. Alright, political rival gets tossed as a cost instead of losing honor uh, okay so they're basically just uh, Amabuni is just playing out whatever he has for shits and giggles at this point he knows it over we know it over monkey and pirates knows it's over we're just gonna have to sit here nicely and wait for the stronghold to break yeah, I, I don't know if... That, that's an interesting point, uh, Seikin. I don't know if that makes Lion sort of kind of interesting. Or just that Lion doesn't really have a direction. That anything you try in Lion sort of kind of works. In a wonky way. Uh, I I feel Lion would benefit for from uh, like a lot more cohesion in design having more interesting themes to explore or like at least the themes are more coherent currently lion can literally do anything and sort of make it work and while that's fun in a way it's only sort of works and that's also not very good oh yeah And here we go. Right, Sugo gets a uh, ancestral dash attached. He really doesn't want Red Sugo to get bowed, I guess. 
does uh, Amabony have any like katanas to put on case into try and bow Retsuga with Yuli's training? That's an interesting question, actually. I mean, he definitely can't touch Yukuni. It's just not happening. Alright, so this is a. Uh... So, alright, so Kaisen uses Julie's training to fight with Doom Shigenya. So, Doom Shigenya is going to get bowed. Probably we're going to see a ready for battle. And that's going to get voiced. And then we might see another ready for battle. And that's probably going to get voiced. But uh, I don't think in the end that it's going to matter. Scare me. Thank you so much for the follow. Right, so heh <laughs> a, a a one to five bid, we're going to probably see Yep. Uh political rival Doji Fimuki Finger of Jade and Ornate fan gets discarded for uh Amber Bunny and the Doom Chikenya is bowed. Uh ready for battle to uh ready the Doom Chikenya and Voice of Honor to cancel the Ready for Battle. And now we see a uh, stronghold buff the Retsugu. And now Retsugu is probably going to duel the casing, I guess. Or if Amabuni passes, he just pass and actually win. Scare me. Thanks for the follow. I see. That is Seikin following that. And thank you, Seitar, for following earlier and Reaper's Mirth for following before that. I appreciate it. Uh, Alright, so Daimyo's Gunbai gets attached to Toshi uh, Yukuni, and a fine katana gets touched because Daimyo's Gunbai is restricted. Yeah, so... Okay. Uh, Yukuni is now a crane character because uh, Ambabuni played his last card on Yukuni. <laughs> and at this point, Ambabuni is just... Let's be honest, he's trolling at this point. I don't think this matters. I think it's just... It's both players just joking around. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to take up that with the League Admin Seikin. Uh, I also have a feeling that... Uh, uh, Amabuni might have uh, betted on the opponent in this, in this match. And case in duels just for nothing, and finally it passes out. And stronghold is broken. Congratulations to the Australian team for being. I, I let's have a quick look at the standings. Actually, uh, I need to update this. And of course, this takes forever to update. <laughs> Let's see. So, Australia versus Wales. We have currently it's 1 1. 
So Australia has won the Dragon vs. Queen matchup, and Wales has won the Dragon vs. Scorpion matchup. Cool. And uh, that is going to be it for this game. Thank you so much to everyone that watched. Thank you so much for everyone that followed. Uh, this game will get uploaded to YouTube at some point, and Mind's Desire is uh, curating a YouTube playlist of all the games that get up uploaded to YouTube. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.